as long as we're doing this might as well read the Al Capone uh, card right Al Capone card since it's also on the box right and it's card number seven in the series okay and these guys came out check it out came out in 1992 true, true crime series one g-men and gangsters text copyright 1992 paul allen collins and george hagel hagnor art copyright 1992 paul lee eclipse enterprises p.o box 1099 forestville california 95436 g-men equals gangsta uh, uh, no g-men equals uh, g-men is uh, the cops isn't it uh, gangster man is a gangster man no I think g-men is like FBI right so you know there's 220 cards here we're picking one and you know at some point maybe we'll read the whole thing right so card number seven from series one of true crime from eclipse comics al capone alfonso capone grew up in brooklyn slums and was thrown out of school in the sixth grade for attacking his teacher what a badass while working as a bouncer at the harvard inn for uh frankie yale uh, then head of the union uh sicilian uni Uniani Sicilian Capone cracked many a drunk skull and was himself cut across the cheek, thus acquiring acquiring the nickname Scarface. By 1919, Capone was suspended, suspected of two murders, and had become uh, and had became close friends with many future mobsters, including Lucky Luciano, uh, Ciro Terra. Terra Nova and Johnny Torino. Capone was working for Torino in Chicago when Torino took over Big Jim uh, Colosimo's mob in 1920. Torino set Capone up at the Four Deuces uh, Saloon as a bodyguard, chauffeur, and brothel pitchman. Capone was Torino's right hand man, learning the business while Torino created a multi-million dollar crime syndicate employing 1,000 men. In 1925, Torino was wounded in a gang shooting. He retired a multi-millionaire, leaving Capone to inherit his remarkable criminal organization. Like any corporation, Torino's mob, Torino's mob was divided into departments. In this case, bootlegging, brothels, gambling, and contract murder. The key leaders of what would be known for the next 30 years are the Capone mob, as the Capone mob were already in place when Capone took charge. Capone was an efficient crime boss, fiercely loyal to his key men. He often continued gang wars rather than turn a single hitman over to the enemy for retribution. He was the first mobster to court reporters, occasionally uh, occasionally even holding press conferences he would need all his skill to survive the next four years as the Torino O'Brien Tori, Torio O'Banian feud gave rise to the bloodiest gang war in US history see card 8 Peter von Fratzus Peter von Fratzus we have Peter von Fratzus here Peter von Fratzus Look at that slim mustache, right? G-men, there we go, Alaga. G-men is government men, government agents. Yeah, cool, thank you. So pretty cool, huge history here, huge history here. 